Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to change the language settings on your Chromebook. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we are going to begin by opening up the clock at the far corner of our system shelf. So go ahead and left click on that. And now you want to select the setting icon. So you hover over to settings. Go ahead and left click on that. You want to now go on the left side where it says main menu if you hover over the three horizontal lines and go ahead and left click on that. And now you want to select advanced. And now you want to select languages and input. Top option should say languages and input. Go ahead and left click on that. And now at this point you can go ahead and select add language. So you can add whatever language you want from this list that's applicable to you. And once you've located it on this list, you go ahead and select the Add button. And then in order to change it, you go ahead and select that language. And then you go select the three vertical dotted icon next to that language. And then you'd select where it says Show System Text in this language. And then you would need to restart your computer for that to take effect, which I'm not going to do because that's not the language that I want here. So we want to keep it as English, but just in your case, you would switch it to whatever language you wanted to. And then if you needed to adjust the input method, once your computer restarts, you come back in here and then underneath input method, you would change your input method by clicking on that. And then you would select the proper keyboard format. However, you won't actually see that unless you switch the language. So you can see it would have automatically given us a Serbian keyboard by just switching the language to that language. So pretty straightforward process. It's a pretty smart operating system, so you probably won't even need to even come back in here, but you may need to, so you have that option though. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.